Today, we're going to teach you five skills that work great if you have your back against the opponent. So that's going to be a lot of fun for me and less for Phil. Let's go. We'll start out with a simple but extremely effective move that our guy Will John actually mentioned to me a few years back. It's not really that an official name, I think, so let's call it the Will John Get Past the Defender 3000. <laughs> Funny, right? Anyways, it's great to actually turn on the defender while protecting the ball because facing the defender is what you want. That gives you a lot of options. So what you basically do is that with the defender in your back, you use the foot that's furthest away from the defender to step over the ball and then turn your body to face them. They might then think that this is a great option for them to come in and try and steal the ball, but in reality, it's a great option for you to roast them with, for instance, a cheeky little croquetta. So it looks like this. Turn, whoop, see ya. So to answer your question, yes, John will get past the defender. Now another cool move to lose the defender breathing down your neck is to do this 90 degree sole roll turn. And basically what you do is that you take the sole of the foot furthest away from the direction you want to go and just make a quick little turn. And thinking about it, this is actually a, well, half a Marseille turn, so it's a bit quicker and really effective. But if you want to roast the defender even harder, you can deep fry, <laughs> terrible joke, him or her by adding a little directional touch. Because when you do the sole roll and the defender follows, his or her balance is gonna be going in that direction with the weight on that foot, meaning that all they can do is watch as you twist and run away in the other direction while they're reenacting Bambi on ice. So if you remember Eden Azar making Pablo Zavaleta sit down, you know what's coming. Because this move is a great way to shake off the defender without even touching the ball. So if he or she is chasing you and you're running towards the ball, you have the advantage because every time you move, they are going to react, most likely at least, if they're good defenders. Now here, you're gonna basically throw a couple of little body feints, shoulder drops in either direction, faking that you're gonna go that way, all while you're watching them with the corner of your eye. Because when you can see that they commit, they take the bait and they put their weight on one foot. That's your moment to strike, and you're just gonna take a little touch in the opposite direction. I'm sorry for ruining your life. Second to last move is a bit of a classic and oh so pretty. It's the McGiddy spin done by Aiden McGee, my man. Anyways. That was embarrassing. But what you do here is that you approach the ball and then you step over the ball and stop it with the inside of your foot in the direction you want to go. Now, as you do that, you also turn your body so your back is towards the direction you want to go. Then you step over the ball with the other foot and push it away with the outside of that foot. And in motion, it looks like this. So in other words, Phil, I'll go get you a Mac Gidi's burger. Really bad. Yeah, that was. Yeah, man. Jeez, jeez, man. Finally, we've got the, I guess, soul roll stop cut, which is a little bit similar to the second trick in the sense that you make a move in one direction only to cut and move back in the opposite direction. And what you basically do here is that you make a soul roll over the ball. And as you finish the roll, you put your foot down strongly into the ground, which means that the ball will stop and bounce a little bit back in that direction. What's also good about this is that then once your support leg hits the ground, you're basically able to accelerate and change directions quickly in that direction. So if we got the defender behind you, it means that you do this, and then you're off. I felt bad. 
bad for Philip and how he never got to touch the ball. So I decided to let him teach you a bonus back to opponent skill move. Because I'm nice like that. And for the bonus move, I'm gonna show you how to do the AK-3000. So the first step is that you don't do it because it's not gonna work in a game. But if you insist, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you got your back against the opponent, you flick the ball up with one leg and then you turn away from the ball and then you hit the ball with the outside of your knee and then extend your leg, kick the ball around the defender. And if you somehow manage to pull this off in a game, the defender should Ack away all of his Bruh. stuff and quit no. football. No, no, you didn't. Come on, that was no, Phil. Too late. So there you have them, my friends. Five, actually, wait, seven skills that are pretty useful if you have your back towards the opponent. Just remember to, you know, practice them before you try them in a match so you actually know what you're doing. What you should also do is tell us what you'd like us to teach you next in the comment section right down below. And then you can jump over to unisportstore.com to cop a fresh new pair of boots or a nice new shirt. Of course, also, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on and then maybe go to the playlist right down there to learn even more how to improve as a footballer. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio. See you later, Phil.